Hello and welcome. In my previous video, I showed you how to export a virtual machine as a portable OVA file. In this video, I will demonstrate how to import an existing virtual machine from an OVA file, i.e. to install a virtual machine from a portable OVA file. The first step is to run the Oracle VirtualBox Manager. Next step, from the menu bar, select File and then Import Appliance. We're presented with the Import Virtual Appliance dialog box. VirtualBox currently supports importing appliances saved in the open virtualized format, i.e. as an OVF file or an OVA file. To continue, select the file to import below. So I'm going to navigate to my C a temp folder where I have my Ubuntu that OVA file that I exported in the previous video. I want to select that and select open and then choose next. In the appliance settings, these are the virtual machines contained in the appliance and suggested settings of the import virtual box machines. You may change many of the properties below by double clicking on the items and disabling others. My advice is to leave all the settings as default. Um, possibly if you wanted more, use more powerful CPU or you want to allocate more RAM, you could just double click and change it and double click and change it here. That's probably not a bad idea if you deem it necessary. I'm going to choose default settings. One option I do suggest is to always check reinitialize the MAC address on all network cards. Um, and this is, this will be the location of the virtual disk image, i.e. the OVA file will be imported, so to speak, and the contents extracted to this location here. That's exactly where it'll be extracted. Okay. And finally, simply select import. Now the import may take several minutes, anything from two minutes to 20 minutes, depending on how big the image is and how fast or slow your computer is. So this seems to be running quite quickly. I was going to pause and then resume once it's completed, but it says there is only 11 seconds remaining. And it's almost complete by the looks of it. And done. Excellent. There it is. That didn't take uh, any time at all, really. So I'm now ready to use my Ubuntu virtual machine that I've just imported from a portable OVA file. That's it. Thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.